Welcome to the Heidi Thorne Show. I'm your host, Heidi Thorne, and in this podcast, I share my real-world self-publishing and small business experience with you. Before we get started, I just want to remind you to like, comment, share, follow, and subscribe. Now let's get on with today's show. In 2021, Amazon's Kindle Direct Publishing self-publishing platform introduced hardcover edition availability. I can understand why they might want to offer this. Other major self-publishing platforms such as Ingram Spark, BookBaby, and Lulu all offer hardcover editions for self-publishing. And not being able to get hardcover editions was the reason why many authors chose to self-publish on both KDP and one of these other platforms. Overall, I found converting my paperback edition to a hardcover very easy. I'm also very pleased with the print quality. I had to reformat the book cover. Thankfully, the hardcover cover creator uh, tool offered the same art elements and layouts that I used for the paperback and Kindle ebook edition. Here's the paperback, and here's the hardcover. They're very similar. I had done the paperback uh, version of my book, Swag, How to Choose and Use Promotional Products for Marketing Your Business in 2014. So I was pretty happy to see that a lot of those elements were still available in 2021. Though it looks slightly different, the hardcover looks similar enough so that people know it's probably the same book. I would suggest that you make your hardcover paperback and ebook edition covers look identical or very similar. If you've used the KDP cover creator tool to create your previously published paperback and Kindle ebook editions, there is a possibility that the layouts and art elements will also be available on the KDP cover creator for hardcover. If those art elements from a previously published print or ebook are not available anymore, you might want to consider redesigning the cover for all of the editions so that they all look like they match. I don't really remember reformatting any of the interior pages. That was easy, but be aware that some reformatting may be required depending on your particular manuscript. And you need to see KDP's support documentation. They have all the layout requirements and other information about reformatting for your hardcover. You also have your choice of gloss or matte finish hardcover. I did the proof of my book in matte. While I like the matte finish overall, I didn't think it was appropriate for my subject matter, which is marketing needs to have a little more polish. So I switched to the gloss for the final and I think it turned out great. From a print quality standpoint, both finishes are good. So choose the one that really fits with your uh, hardcover editions aesthetic. Your full cover hardcover artwork is printed right onto the cover at no extra charge. Dust jackets are not yet available for KDP hardcover printing as of this recording date, but is it really necessary? I don't think so. It's just a really expensive option, and this, I think, is a great hardcover alternative that's budget-friendly. I'm also really impressed with the binding. I think it, it's very well done. It's really sturdy. Uh, it doesn't allow for lay flat like some hardcovers do just because of how the uh, construction is, but it is a very sturdy binding. White and cream papers are available for black and white interior printing on these hardcovers. Color interior printing on white paper is also available, but it is more expensive, meaning that you'll make lower royalties and less you charge much more for your color hardcover book. KDP offers authors 60% royalty on hardcover and paperback book sales. You're probably thinking, wow, I'll make a lot of money with my more expensive hardcover edition. Not so fast. That's 60% royalty before 
printing costs are deducted. Hardcover printing is much more expensive than perfect bound paperbacks. Printing costs are always subject to change. KDP has a printing cost and royalty calculator available in the KDP support documentation. It's still in beta mode as I'm recording this, but it is a great tool. There's also a downloadable Excel uh, spreadsheet version of it, but I'd be more inclined to use the online calculator since it's likely to be continuously updated with current printing costs. Also be aware that KDP requires a minimum list price for your book, which depends on the printing costs. They will not let you produce and sell a print book, paperback or hardcover, at a loss. Here's the cost breakdown for my book, hardcover and paperback with current pricing. For comparison, hardcover is $21.95 currently. That's the list price. The printing cost is $7.20, and the estimated net royalty on that is $5.97. For my paperback, the list price is $14.95. The printing cost is $2.55, and my estimated royalty is $6.42. You can see that the hardcover costs are almost three times that of the paperback. Yet the royalty for paperback is roughly 8% higher than for hardcover, even at a lower price point. Your numbers may differ based on your prices that you set and your printing cost for your particular book. While I always encourage authors to offer multiple formats of their books to reach a wider audience of readers, I don't know how much difference there would be between print options of hardcover and paperback. It really depends on the market. For example, for books that will receive a lot of wear and tear, such as children's books, hardcover might be preferred. But in some markets, the higher hardcover price point can be a turnoff for some readers. Carefully consider your market before investing your time in creating hardcovers. For me, the addition of a hardcover has been a non-starter so far. I haven't done any marketing or announcements uh, for the hardcover. So this has been a good test of whether the hardcover option would resonate with a typical buyer for my book when they are not prompted by some marketing efforts. Want to guess how many hardcover sales I've made to date? Two. And one of them was to me, because in the early going, author copies weren't available, and I had to buy the book at retail, which I got royalties on, of course, to get my final copy. Now, discounted author hardcover copies are available. I hope you found that helpful as you consider whether you wish to offer hardcover editions if you self-publish on KDP. If you did find it helpful, please rate, review, and subscribe to The Heidi Thorne Show on whatever podcast app you like to use. I'm on all the major ones, including Apple Podcasts and Spotify. If you like the YouTube video better, you just have to subscribe to my Heidi Thorne YouTube channel and turn on the notification bell so you get an alert when a new video is up. I would appreciate it if you would share either the audio or the video with your friends on social media. My books, including the hardcover edition of Swag, How to Choose and Use Promotional Products for Marketing Your Business, and the paperback, are available on Amazon and Audible and Apple Books. All you have to do is go to one of those sites, type in my name, Heidi Thorne, and a list of all my available titles will come up. If you'd like to connect with me, my website is HeidiThorne.com, and I'm most active on the social media sites of Instagram and TikTok at, at HeidiThorne. Thank you so much for listening and for your support. I'll look forward to talking with you again in the next episode, and in the meantime, have a great day.